but I think we're, you know, we get closer all the time to coming up with a good solution. I then Films were saying that there is something like this commercially available. If that be the case, we'll go with that. Oh, if, you if, mean that the actual, this cable just floats? Yeah. These expand? These, they might expand. How mm -hmm. much do they expand? Yeah. A lot sometimes. Sometime. Like a foot? A foot? Yeah. A foot? Yeah. So you have to allow for anything attached to it to expand with it. Oh. A foot is a lot. Obviously, the bridge is a suspension bridge, and with the different temperature between summer and winter, you're going to have some expansion in the cables. And we want to make sure that the light cables can actually compensate for that expansion. There was a moment on this project when we were just sort of catching this whiff of success, like it's going to happen, and then we hit this wall. For about six months, we had a plan on how we were going to install the nodes onto the suspension cables at the bridge. You know, I want to show it to Walter and I want to show it to my, my other engineer and ask him if he has any ideas. We had all agreed that the LEDs would attach to the bridge using zip ties. But suddenly everyone started to back away from that solution because there was this fear that they would pinch the cables. And I could just see this project just start to nosedive into the ground. And then Timothy Childs came through with a brilliant solution. Just right, we can get by with a single zip tie per foot. When I first heard uh, that they want to put 25,000 lights on the bridge, I said, great, because I'm used to and, and kind of encourage audacious thinking, um, because I really think that's how big stuff happens. What we ended up doing is we made some dummy versions of the rails with the lights in them and, and put a 30-foot section of 2.5-inch uh, pipe, which is the same diameter of the cable, inside our warehouse and came up with a methodology of um, sliding them down. The technique is starting from the top down. Puts it on here, it just drops it down, it slides straight down the bottom, okay? You might want to do a hole here and a hole in the next rail and use a zip tie, but this isn't carrying the structure away. The original idea is we will mold in it. the groove, yeah. No, we, we go out there and mold, mold it, it yeah. so we can figure exactly what yeah. we need that for that future. So Tuesday, it's going to be great. We're going to go up the cables and actually look at the attachment points and how it's all connected. And we're also going to take a still camera, and we'll take a bunch of photographs of the cable themselves. And we're going to reconstruct a 3D model based upon that. We had a chance to see the cables that we'd actually be attaching the, the lights to. And while we were up there, I thought it would be a good opportunity to take a lot of pictures of the bridge cables and attempt to do a photogrammetric reconstruction. Want more Truly California? Visit us online to keep up with the local film scene, stream full documentaries, and submit your film to Truly California.